what FODMAPs are? I teach students in my online course how FODMAPs influence wild fermentation, but I wanted to teach all of you about this too. Green beans are great for lacto-fermentation because they're low in the FODMAPs fructose and fructan, but green beans are kind of high in the FODMAPs sorbitol and mannitol. And when there's a lot of sorbitol and mannitol, wild yeast like to grow. This is what a lot of people call cam yeast. I usually ferment my green beans with four to 5% salt, but I figured I'd do a little test with these using 3% salt to show you. As predicted, there's a lot more wild yeast in these green beans than I see with higher salt concentrations. Look at all these yeast. The yeast are the bigger, more circular cells and the bacteria are the smaller stick-shaped cells. The yeast haven't bloomed on the surface of the brine, but they will eventually. Basically, the yeast can use the FODMAPs, sorbitol, and mannitol as osmolites. Osmolites help yeast survive under the osmotic stress of salt. That means when the salt concentration isn't high enough, yeast still vibe and thrive in the green beans. Get my green bean recipe with the best salt concentration at the link in my profile. You'll also find links to my online courses there.